Hi, in this video you will learn how to install the Free Pascal compiler, install the Lazarus IDE and compile Cheat Engine. To compile Cheat Engine we need the source code. We download the Cheat Engine source code in the recent version. To unpack the compressed file with the source code, you can optionally download a file archiver like 7-zip. Cheat Engine comes with a project file for Lazarus, which is an IDE that is used to develop applications in Free Pascal. So we download Lazarus and take the Windows 64 bits version in this case. I'm not going to show the download here. And because Lazarus comes with Free Pascal in an older version, we download a newer version. Again, we take the Windows 64 bits version. In this case, we prefer to select a mirror because it shows some additional information. We are informed that the 32 bits version is also needed, so we download both versions. Furthermore, there is a special requirement for running Lazarus, which is that it needs the source code of the Free Pascal compiler. Back on the download page, we follow the source section. In this case, we also prefer to select the mirror to get some additional information. We understand that there are two source packages and decide to take the normal source archive because we don't want to build the Free Pascal compiler itself. This is how our download directory should look like. We are starting by installing the Free Pascal compiler. In this case, we want the configuration files to be created. We also install the 64 bits version of the Free Pascal compiler. To see if it has installed correctly, we check the path environment variable and run the Free Pascal compiler in the command prompt. We are now going to install the Lazarus IDE. Meow. <laughs> At this point we have 7-zip installed already, so I'm not going to show that here. We create the appropriate directory structure where we put the source code of the Free Pascal compiler. Then we extract the Free Pascal source code in that directory structure.
we run the Lazarus IDE. As we can see, the Free Pascal compiler and the source code is set up correctly. We can test if everything works by running the default project. As we can see, it works. For the next step, we close the IDE. We continue to unpack the cheat engine source code. There are two things to notice. The bin directory contains relevant files to allow a self-compiled cheat engine to run and the Lazarus IDE project file cheat engine.lpi. To open the project in the Lazarus IDE, in this case we just drag and drop the project file. If we want to, we can change the project options, but in this case we keep the default settings. From the run menu we choose compile many modes and select the 32 and both 64-bit versions. At this point we should have successfully compiled Cheat Engine. To compile the tutorial we repeat the same process. We can now find the recently compiled executable files in the bin directory and can delete the dbg files. To work with a clean directory structure in the future, I recommend packing the bin directory and store that file somewhere as a backup. To test if our compiled cheat engine works, we can now unpack that zip file and start cheat engine. Very nice. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye.